going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Please get your favorite drink and join us around the table. Uh, you will not be sorry if you were just clicking through the channel. God had you right here for such a time as this and something's going to supernaturally happen in your life. Please yeah. call the prayer lines 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. And it's always behind my head on a full shot and periodically across the bottom of the screen. We're really grateful you joined us today. I mean, seriously, call those prayer lines. You're anonymous, and we will stand, take it to heaven, and see a breakthrough in your life, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And I'm Charlene Beckler, and you guys are your host. Again, mm -hmm. thank you for tuning in. This is um, Stephanie Bash. Who is she? Who is that lady? <laughs> I did. I got stuck. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes I start calling her Stephanie Powers. I've called her. Oh, yes. wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, because, yeah. I, you know, we think yeah. of something in the past. Yeah. And I've called her Priscilla, Priscilla back to Mary like three yeah. times. Which is, yeah. Which is fine. She's my spiritual yeah. daughter. Yeah. She's yes. my spiritual daughter. Yeah. So we have Priscilla Powers. And Pruitt. I'm your spiritual yep. daughter. Yes. Because yeah. <laughs> we're the youngest here. Yeah, yeah. Of course. We're the youngest. <laughs> um, and then, of course, we have our dear friend back with us. Mm. Uh, Charlene Body, and you can go on Amazon. You can go to charlene.com. You can find out everything about her. She preaches, teaches. She's worked for two presidents. She's, I mean, listen, she's a coach. She's got two books that are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, one true, uh, uh, grid. grid. <laughs> grid. Mm -hmm. I was going to do the other one. Yeah. Uh, and, and I always forget the other one. No appointments necessary. No appointments necessary. I love that title. I keep forgetting mm -hmm. it. I know. But you can get it on Audible and Kindle and all kinds of stuff. So you need to do that. And then we have Lana Gardner. <laughs> we're so glad. And we're glad that Charlene is joining us. She's just mm -hmm. fit right in. It's just been wonderful. We love it. And uh, anyways, uh, she's going to be doing quite a few shows with us. Well, she's already done quite a mm -hmm. few. And you'll see them out there on TV Land or on uh, YouTube if you watch on YouTube. Mm -hmm. The great thing about YouTube, and you have to put www.youtube.com and then the forward slash God's View TV shows because people say well we don't really find that but if I even put God's View and they pop up mm -hmm. for me but maybe because it's on my phone I don't know but other people say it pops up yeah. but if you're having you know problems or somewhere you can't see go to our website yeah mm -hmm. yeah go to our website it'll take you right to the YouTube lots of links yeah yep. and so there's all kinds of links and, and, mm -hmm. and hear about us see what we're doing and I got to put some more of the things that we're giving to on there and what we're doing. But anyways, thank you for joining us. Uh, we are going to be talking about, believe it or not, do not mock prophecy. I should tell you this just to start, because prophecy is what set me free. If there wasn't, mm -hmm. if there wasn't the gift of prophecy, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be sitting here. Because the day I was born again, I mean, uh, prophets and everybody would call me out. And they would start saying all this grandiosious things. And I was like, what rock hit them on the head? You know, because at that time, I was, if you asked me to pray at dinner, I was like, I thought everybody heard my knees. I'm like, <laughs> well, of course I wouldn't know how to pray. I never read a Bible. Never, you know what I mean? But the devil makes you think, you're going to look stupid. You're going to look terrible. You better not, you know. Yeah. And Fire. so because of all the bad I heard, when the good came, it was like wild, but I loved God so much because of the love that flooded over me. All those prophetic words, I would say, wow, you know, God, I, I, I really want this. If, if this is you, it's, you know, it's foreign to me. It was very foreign to me because I would not even let people, because I went to the seventh grade, I would not even let people see my notes because I spelled so bad. And I tried to go back and get my GED, but I was so far behind that it would take me quite some time. So I had... Uh, phony papers drawn up because the life I lived I kind of could do kind of anything I wanted and so or get I guess access to anything I wanted and uh, so I drew up phony you know graduation papers and all this because they said you're gonna have to go back to school for four years just at where you are the level you are and I thought oh no I can't do that so that's when I had the phony 
papers drawn up. I got <laughs> into um, beauty school, and I ended up owning my own salon. But um, when all of that, the prophecy, all of the things that had happened to me prior to, I want to tell you this. Seventh grade education or anything never stopped God from putting me no. No. on the platform right. that I sit mm -hmm. today. Right. I don't <laughs> ever want anybody to be discouraged. Yeah. I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not ignorant, no. Amen. Hi, I but hear. I would hide my notes because I couldn't spell them. But wow. here's what I want to tell you about prophecy. God is so faithful. When they called me out, I was just smart enough to say, God, I want to obey you and I want to believe it. And finally, to tell you the truth, I got so pregnant with everybody who kept calling me out, I just was walking it out before <laughs> I knew it. But when I was, you know... Maybe you today, you know, you do not, if you don't understand prophecy, is what I'm, prophecy, what I'm trying to say, don't mock it. Don't, mm -hmm. don't just, just, just say, God, help mm -hmm. me, help me do this because prophecy, you should desire it. It's one of the gifts that God says covet, but yet in the Ten Commandments, he right. says covet, you know, mm -hmm. not. But, but in there, he wants you to covet the gift of prophecy because that's how powerful it is. Mm -hmm. He even said to Timothy, you wage a good warfare with the prophetic word that went out mm -hmm. before you. So when you mm -hmm. get that word, you are fighting for your life. You fight with those words and decree them and declare them mm -hmm. and, and just embrace them and protect them so that those things will come to pass in your life. Now, God makes mm -hmm. them come to pass, but there's a part that we have to do. And so what he would do is give me cue cards. You know, like when we're like young and they would do one plus one mm -hmm. in the school. Yeah. Cue flash cards, cards was yeah. the big thing, flash yeah. cards, yeah, flash when cards, I was yeah. young. Yes. Big thing. Yeah, you know, same. now they give you one of these or a computer. <laughs> or, right. But they were flash cards. Yeah. And God was so good to me because I was called into the, uh, you know, the office of, uh, you know, prof uh, 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 a prophetess right away. And I was like, you know, I had to understand all that, walk that out and learn and grow because you don't just move the way you're supposed to. But in time, God does amazing things in and through your life. Did I make a lot of mistakes? Absolutely. And you may too, but don't mock prophecy. Mm -hmm. I had a pastor say to me one time, Oh, 99% of that's hogwash. Well, probably mm. because he was hurt, but I seen his church fail after that, too, mm -hmm. like what we were talking Oof. about earlier. Mm -hmm. So back to the flashcards. I just get off. I'm a preacher. Mm -hmm. And so anyways, the flashcards, <laughs> the flashcards, I'm trying to stand. And he would literally give me a word. And it would have the truck or it would have this. It would have all this. And then he'd give me the words. He'd put those flashcards together, and I would prophesy that. Mm -hmm. And it would be accurate every time in somebody's life and that's how good he is you, you if you don't understand something just don't mock it and please don't do like that pastor did because it, it will mess you up yeah. because you cannot mock the gifts of God mm -hmm. and it's the Holy Spirit that's the extension mm -hmm. of those gifts when when the when Jesus went on high he himself gave the gifts in the fivefold in Ephesians 4 11 he himself gave Five pieces of that pie say apostle, prophet, you know, evangelist, teacher, pastor, or pastor, teacher, wherever they are, wherever they are. Mm -hmm. But anyways, <laughs> in Ephesians 4:11. That's right. And and but the Holy Spirit is who you honor now. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is the extension of all the nine gifts in Corinthians, where where we are mm -hmm. going to really, you know, healing mm -hmm. and, and tongues yes. and interpretation and all those kinds of things mm -hmm. and prophecy. Yes. And interpretation. Listen, I, I, I can't tell you enough how prophecy has changed my life. Again, I sit. Now, of course, you're on the platform of your life by choices. We know that. You, you know, all of us sitting up here had to make choices. It's the little foxes that spoil the vine. Well, it's your choices all the way, yeah. life's path That's good. that puts you mm -hmm. where you are. And, of course, I had to obey. So every time somebody prophesied, I would just, I'd say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm that, I'm that. Because it felt good to hear yeah. that good stuff right. after yeah. hearing all that right. bad stuff. I mean, because I heard some crazy stuff from my dad. Mm. And, you know, and of course, most of you know is, you know, on a lot of drugs and a lot of abuse in my home and a lot of horrible things spoken to me. And I, I was... a. a a real problem child in the kingdom. <laughs> Grew up in a drug house. And so so I come out of something yeah. so foreign to yeah. the goodness of God in prophecy. Because yeah. mm -hmm. sure. prophecy should be edif edification, exhortation, and comfort. Now, if mm -hmm. you're a prophet, like, 
Miss uh, Prophet here. And, and I, I, you know, I, I don't never say this. I don't like saying what I'm called, but, but you have to be bold enough to mm -hmm. say it too. And I am called in that office. Mm -hmm. Then, then you can go into illumination, direction, correction, mm -hmm. kind of like mm -hmm. more of a president job. We can't make yeah. the decisions that the president of the United mm -hmm. States can make. And mm -hmm. neither can the people that just flow in mm -hmm. prophecy, because mm -hmm. prophecy is edification, comfort. You can't go around saying, oh, God said you're in sin and, and you're going to quit mm -hmm. your job. And you can't do yeah. that because you're not a prophet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not There's a levels. Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, mm -hmm. you're not a Nathan. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Nathan, he could go to the king and say, you're the man. Mm -hmm. But the gift of prophecy cannot do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It has to be edifying. Mm -hmm. You know, well, anyways. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm done. There's, there's levels. It's not. She's right. Yeah. right. There's levels to that yeah. prophetic gift. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear uh, privately, uh, like King David did. Mm -hmm. You know, he's probably the first proper journalist. <clears throat> this is where we get two thirds of Psalms that he wrote, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Then there's that simple gift of prophecy that Romans 12, 6 through 8. Mm -hmm. talks about mm -hmm. so you might give a popcorn mm -hmm. word of encouragement to someone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the yeah. third level of the gift mm -hmm. is teen ministry where you're giving out most of the corporate prophecy mm -hmm. in the local church and you may be called to be a prophet down the road but God has to confirm that to you and so do mm -hmm. the believers around you in leadership mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that fourth level that scripture talks about is prophet to the nations mm -hmm. and that comes with an inner witness and an outward acknowledgement by church leaders. The fifth level, the highest level, with the highest level of responsibility that you heard Charlene talking about, when you can rebuke, decree, and declare and deliver up something over a nation, a government, mm -hmm. a principality, mm -hmm. that is that seer anointing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. scripture is adamant. The There's a difference between a prophet and a seer. Uh -huh. All seers are prophets, but not every prophet is a it's seer. A seer. Right. What do I mean by mm -hmm. that, saints? Mm -hmm. The seer hears by the Holy Spirit with what they're seeing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're talking to a seer prophet like Bobby Connor, who's alive today, Bobby has like x-ray vision. He can tell uh, us what's in our handbags right now. That's mm -hmm. that seer awesome. anointing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is one of those X-Men for God, right? But not every prophet has that ability to do that. Mm -hmm. Prophets get a gut hunch. That's how they hear from the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit speaks to them from the inside. But mm -hmm. there are levels to the gift, and there's varying degrees of what you heard Charlene say, that EEC, that all prophecy of God must be encouragement, edification, mm -hmm. and comfort. Right. And that rule is found in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 3, if you didn't know. Yeah. And Amos 3, 7 says, For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secrets to the prophets. Amen. And the prophets tell the people. Right. And in these days, in these uh, extreme days, people should be listening to the prophets mm -hmm. more so than ever mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. And if they were, if accurate, that, that right. the yeah. believers in Yeshua <laughs> would be encouraged mm -hmm. to know that God has nothing but the best for us. Mm -hmm. But the enemy, Amen. who's been the enemy to, to, to Almighty God, are in so much mm -hmm. trouble. It is judgment. It is the days of Haman. And you better mm -hmm. repent mm -hmm. if it's not too late. It says that uh, scriptures in in the Bible. It talks about the scriptures about Jesus Christ, and it, it tells who He is. Mm -hmm. That He forgives. That He is a healer. That Jesus Christ is the Messiah. He is God. He is the Lord. Mm -hmm. He is the only way to heaven. Mm -hmm. And you know how many times when I was not a believer did I hear all of this contradicted? That mm -hmm. they say, oh, it doesn't say in the Bible that Jesus is God. Uh, well, you have to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Come on. And that's why yeah. the Bible says that there's a, one of the secret ways to be successful. Do you want to be successful? Should I tell? <laughs> <laughs> is read the Bible yes. twice a day. Yeah. When you wake up in the morning, he's first fruits. Mm -hmm. There's no one, nothing more important. So you get your whole day, the direction of your day, and then in the evening, just before you go to bed, 
read the Bible, mm -hmm. and you will have sweet sleep. Amen. 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 The spirit of prophecy because people mock what they don't understand. You know, if they don't believe it, if they, what they don't believe, they fear. You yeah. know, yeah. and so what people don't understand is that prophecy yeah. is all throughout the Bible. It's all throughout the Old Testament, the New Testament. There's books containing prophecies and visions and messages and dreams from prophets and from God Himself. And you know, uh, the Bible addresses the idea of believers prophesying. I know we've all mentioned verses. And did anyone say Joel two twenty? I don't think so. No. Mm -hmm. um, it says, and afterward I will pour out my spirit mm -hmm. on all people. Your sons mm -hmm. and daughters will I'm prophesy. Jesus. Your old men will dream dreams, yes. mm -hmm. and your yes. young yeah. men will see visions. And 1 Corinthians 14 one says, yeah. follow the way of love and eagerly gifts, eagerly desire the gifts of the Spirit, especially prophecy. That's right. And so if God's telling us all these things, yeah. it's because it's such a gift to us. Yeah. This is how, when you it's get a word of knowledge, like when I go and I pray for someone, God tells me and leads me to someone, and I have a word of knowledge, I have a way to connect immediately because they are like, they interest in, immediately interested in what you're saying because how on earth would you possibly mm -hmm. know yes. that? Yes. Unless it is from God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a gift to you. Mm -hmm. And that's why God says, I want you to choose to prophesy. I want you to eagerly ask for this. Mm -hmm. Um and the other reason people mock prophecy is because they don't believe in it or in the prophecy. And I get it, especially for unbelievers. It probably is difficult for them to believe, sure, God is really speaking through you. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's hard enough alone for them to believe there's even a God. Mm -hmm. um, that alone is hard. But then mm -hmm. to believe that he is speaking to a mere mortal. Mm. Yeah. That is very difficult yeah, for them yeah. to yeah. grasp. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But when you give them that prophecy, there is no way in the world that you could possibly know that. That changes everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what, what happened to the woman at the well. Jesus comes yes. up to her. and You read about this in John 4, 4 through 2, mm -hmm. 42. So basically, Jesus is on his journey, and he stops at this well in Samaria, and, this, um, and the Samaritan woman comes to draw water, and Jesus asks her for a drink. And um, this interaction surprises her because during that time, Jews and Samaritans didn't associate with each other. And so during their conversation, Jesus basically tells her, you know, he reads her mail. He tells her about living water that is one that once it's received, it will become a spring of water that wells up and feeds you for life. You're never going to be thirsty again. And as the conversation unfolds, Jesus reveals details about this woman's life and he reads her mail and um, he demonstrates this knowledge and insight and she's just completely dumbfounded and she thinks he's a prophet. And then she declares, no, 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 you are the Messiah. And so when she realized that and he's saying, I am that living water I told you about, it was like instantly her eyes were open. She could see it. Mm -hmm. And that is the gift. That is what prophecy does. Mm -hmm. And so for people who, who are mocking it, who are questioning it, mm -hmm. you are literally <laughs> doing yourself a disservice. That in woman was yeah. impacted forever. She was forever changed. She became the first evangelist in the, in the New yeah. Testament because of that. And that is the impact that prophecy has. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and going right along with that, in Matthew 10, 41, it says this, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's right. reward. Yeah. That's right. And whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive mm -hmm. a righteous person's reward. And um, a prophecy is when somebody's... Um, working in that gift, under that gift with the Holy Spirit moving through them, you are a mouthpiece. Yeah. You are a mouthpiece, yeah. and it sounds so simple and practical, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's something, like you said, it, it totally changes your life. And mm -hmm. that was for me when people began to prophesy yep. yeah. over me. I had no clue what they were even talking about. Yeah. Yeah. You know, really I, 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 hadn't, I couldn't even see it then. Yeah. But, then but then just seeking Him, I feel like somebody's like, well, how do you know and how do you get there? What do you do? What does that look like? Read the word, like we've been mm -hmm. saying. If you yes. seek the Lord and, and his kingdom and his righteousness, mm -hmm. then those things are added to you. So when you seek him and you pray and you get filled mm -hmm. with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and you pray in the Spirit, then those things are added to you and you'll begin to hear his voice. Mm -hmm. You'll begin to go, mm -hmm. oh, wait, that still small voice on the inside of me is telling mm -hmm. me that that person that just walked by me, um, they just got a broken heart and they're thinking about taking their life. Should I go talk to them? Yes, you should. And I've talked to people before where they have rejected it or they've been afraid of it. 
-hmm. and then later come back, mm -hmm. you know, or, or sometimes you don't hear, but I, then I always pray, someday I'll see you in heaven. And mm -hmm. just a couple Sundays ago, um, the Lord had given me a word for a man. He pointed out in the service and, and I began to declare blessings over him and that there was going to be a certain turnaround in his life and that he had mm -hmm. been stuck in a way that um, he was moving away from the Lord. And that it, it was to a point that um, his life was very well in danger. And when it came out, I was kind of like, what? Mm -hmm. and, and spoke a blessing okay. over him. Afterwards, he came over to me with his wife and his children. And he said, I came here today and I told the Lord, if I do not hear from you, it's my last day. Mm -hmm. <gasps> if wow. I don't, I can't do this world mm -hmm. anymore and nothing's mm -hmm. working. God, wow. if you're there. Mm -hmm. And... Oh. I mean, this fear of God and the awe of God, but that's that's how important it is. Yeah, yeah. That when you it's mock right. something, yeah. that the yes. Word of God says, please earnestly yes. desire this gift. Yeah. Please mm -hmm. move in this. It is saving your life mm -hmm. and those around you. Life. It's yes. that important. You know why a lot yeah. of people have because, and I, I, listen, I'm saying this through experience and years in the church with different ministers, different pastors, and some of you may feel this today, so and you have went away today. because they have put that gift down. Yeah. And they have mocked the gift in mm -hmm. you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. just because of yep. their ignorance or, mm -hmm. or, or whatever, like the pastor. Or they're afraid you're going to expose their yeah. deepest, darkest yeah. secrets. Oh, yeah, I exposed yes. some deep, dark had, secrets, and that's yes. why I was in yes. trouble. Yes. But you and, exposed and them in private, too. Yeah, yes. I did. Yeah, I would never. Yeah, exactly. Would, yeah. And and the thing is, is, you know, just like Nathan, when he went to date. He went privately. Yeah. And and. The thing is, yes. is you've been lied to if you've been told. Mm -hmm. I'm an ordained five-fold minister. When I go into a church, I'm not their sheep. I'm not out from that church. I'm a five-fold ordained minister on the same playing ground, okay? Mm -hmm. But what happens in the church, the church has policed everything. If somebody wants mm -hmm. to come in, listen, Catherine Coleman in those days, she didn't ask no pastor to come in the city. Right. She came in the city and she did her job. Yeah, and that's this right. is what's gotten off, before mm -hmm. I read this, this is what's gotten off. Everybody said you have to go out through the church if you're a five yeah. <laughs> as a prophet or whoever you are, mm -hmm. and they are your covering. That's a lie. Uh -huh. God and my husband's my covering. That's you have right. an accountability to one each other, but that's been a lie that's preached yes. Yes. from day one. And that you have and to be you do not have to have them no. uh, uh, say, oh, no. recognize. Now, it does say when they lay hands and, and yeah. you're getting ordained we're by them. God, yeah, yeah, you're talking yeah, about yeah. people yeah. of God. Because yeah. Paul did that. Well, yeah, well yeah. And church the thing is, there's only, yeah. there's only yeah. like, like, like there's that part to where you lay hands on when you're ordaining them. And another thing is a pet peeve that I'm going to tell you right now is there's, there's no licensing. It's not in the Bible. There's ordination. Well, there's yeah. people giving you a license yes. to see how you're yeah. doing for the 10 years. When yes. God, I was already oh. preaching. They wanted to, they wanted to do this and this and this. And then, and then I was already preaching around the world, Japan, Africa, I remember, and then, then they're going to say, oh, well, you got to do this and you got to do that because mm. you can't do this. I said, watch me. Right. Watch me because I don't play that game. It better be <laughs> in scripture yeah. or right. you don't have yeah. me honey because right. I'm not doing it I'm not doing it anyways there's so I, I could get off on it because I really because I don't even believe that they um, are the ones that can say or not say prophets went and anointed kings and called kings out yeah. you don't have to bow to any pastor right. or anybody that's right if you are called yeah. as a prophet you can go yep. in because a, a pastor said oh God's going to tell you instead of me I said yeah he told prophets before then because that's right. if you're not listing he's going to send you somebody yes. like he yes. did Nathan to David because oh. you're not listening or yep. vain yep. and I said yes they can and I don't need I don't I need you to fire God yeah. right. I, don't need, I don't need you to throw that back at my it's true, say, though. Do that. Yes. Well, I guess I can do it because the do. word I says, the and right I did now. it. I never let them play that game with me. Right. Did I right. love and I tried to serve and I bowed and I submitted yep. and committed yep. to where God finally Same. said, you know what God said to me Same. one day? And I, and I did this. My husband and I both, he had an open heaven and it's too long of a story and told me that when are you going to leave the church and do what I've called you to mm -hmm. do and stop allowing the spirit of Jezebel through pastors to lie and run your ministry. Mm. Okay. Well, That's what he said. Yeah. And yeah. we left and built the network. We did mm. everything from that moment. You and the, and the, the pastor church. came to me and took me in the this little the corner church. with somebody I adored and loved that she got deceived. And uh, she was from another city, came in to speak. 
And they both take me in the corner, well, you know, doors are going to close for you. I said, doors ain't going to close for me. They closed for them. Yeah. Doors have done nothing but open for millions and millions yeah. and millions of people. Mm -hmm. See, because that's the lie of the church. You yeah. can't play that game. That's manipulation. Let me, let me read yeah. something to you that's because you're going to have to know something about prophecy. This is one of my um, devotionals. Uh, one, I got two and three, and I got four more that on I never website. edited. Yeah, and they're on my website. <laughs> And uh, I wrote these, and there's a little devotional in there. There's notes and blah, blah, blah. Um, everything's not on prophecy. There's a mes message, but at the end of these, my heart was that when I do a prophecy and I prophesy, so that in 30 days, those who didn't really are familiar with decreeing or declaring or prophecy, that by the end of those 30 days, they would be prophesying boldly. Mm -hmm. And because I do a prophecy from the Lord, and then another I prophesy. So one of the first lessons in number one is come out of the valley of dry bones. Mm -hmm. It says in verse two in Ezekiel 37, in other words, look, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And, and that, that's with a lot of people, they've gotten dry because of the oppression, the depression, because they have been held down, that gift has been taunted and mocked in you to where you shut down and I'm saying, come alive, yes. come alive, dry yes. bones, live, yes. live and prophesy mm -hmm. and do what God has called you to do. Because they tried to do it to me, but I was just, uh, I was, I'm so tenacious and came out of the world mm -hmm. and they weren't going to do it to me. I mean, I, I dealt with a lot worse than these guys, you know. Dry here in the Hebrew means mm -hmm. to be ashamed confused or disappointed, also to dry up and wither. God has given you his word in your mouth to speak to these dry bones. Speak it. Prophesy to the disappointed places. Come up out of the graves and be pointed towards your destiny. Oh, I'm going to have to read this another time. So okay. good. How fast good. is this? Should we do it I know. the show? Yes. Yeah, I didn't get a quarter of anything. <laughs> yes. Okay, so yeah, good. we didn't get another. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll do another it's one. So we'll good. do one more. Okay, come back for uh, number two. But listen, it's that good. this is too important. We stopped that two minutes is held up mm -hmm. because the most important thing we can ever do on this, this uh, TV program is to bring you to Jesus. Yeah. Amen. I'll tell you, we don't want to see anybody die and go to hell and no. be eternally damned and, and horrible. It, it, it's torment forever. Yes. But you have a place that you can go, mm -hmm. and it's heaven. And Jesus shed his blood and died mm -hmm. on the cross and rose again and going to come back and take us forever with him. And you can be in that gang. You can join a real gang, you know, and it's a powerful gang, not the street gangs or anything. You can join in heaven with a bunch of believers. All you got to do is ask him to come into your heart. Heart. Be the Lord of your life. Forgive yes. you of yeah. your sins. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, right. he'll just come in right where you're at. He loves yes. you. He wants you. He's been waiting for you to say yes to him. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody lie to you that you're not good enough, mm -hmm. that you've got to clean up. You don't have to clean up. He wants you just mm -hmm. the way you are. Mm -hmm. And then ask him to baptize you with the Holy Spirit with fire. It'll, it'll open up the word for you like never yes. before. Mm -hmm. Yes, you'll get your heavenly language. But like I've said many mm -hmm. times, the thing that happened to me, I understood the word. It came alive because he's the one mm -hmm. who leads in God. Guides into all truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. If you did that today, 307 637 pray. That's 7729. Tell us or tell somebody, okay? Don't be ashamed of what you just did. And then go to our website. Help us keep coming in your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have our very own wonderful anointing oil. Have a spray version now. You can use that as a perfume mm -hmm. or uh, the anointing oil. And or both. Or I have some prophetic paintings there that are very reasonable. We're going to probably put them on sale pretty soon. And you can get these beautiful coffee cups. Yeah, you can. And we love you. <laughs> and remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. God's all